How many people registered to attend the CSW last year? Yeah, so I'm just going to go for a guess again, and I'm going to say 2,000 people. Um, I'd say 5,000. Um, let's say 500. The correct answer is 4,000. Okay. It shows you how many people are seriously committed to discuss yeah. progress on gender um, issues and women and girls' advan rights and advantage. I'm kind of happy that it's more than I said, so that's great. <laughs> so, Seth, what do you think? When did the first ever CSW take place? When did the first ever CSW take place? I'm going to say 1980s? The correct answer is 1947, so Ooh. shortly after the UN was founded. What is the theme, at this, the priority theme, at this year's CSW? Yeah, well, I know the review theme is violence against women and girls, so is that the same as the priority theme? No, so the priority theme is a little bit different. Is it implementing Goal 5? It is the very, Sustainable Development Goals, which is lines. the women's rights goal and women's yeah. development goal? Yeah, okay. okay. high-level political speaker attended the last CSW to speak about the link between women's rights and human rights. The CSW last year celebrated the 20th anniversary on a particular agreement that made her words on the link between women's rights and human rights famous. Who was she? Uh, Do you want to look at him? Yeah. <coughs> She's in the uh, current presidential race. As I was going to say, Hillary Clinton was Yay! my second choice of who I was thinking of. What is the famous divide between the members of state and the civil society about? Rights over security or liberty over security? That would be an interesting one. Yeah. Actually, this one is more looking into space because UN, um, governments are placed in the UN building where a civil society can only hold their events in an adjusted building which is on the opposite side of the street. So this spatial divide is kind of showing that often governments are discussing amongst themselves, even though some of them make really good efforts to reach out to civil society, whilst the civil society has only limited access to those in power. Mm. Um, how many UK political representatives will be at the CSW this year? UK political representatives? Yeah. It'll be a small team, I'm sure, but yeah. maybe three or four. Oh, Mark! It's going to be 12. All right. What do you think a typical day of a progressive delegate looks at during the CSW? What do you think we guys are doing there? Um, I think it's a very busy day. I think you're attending lots of um, like lectures slash seminars on different issues, um, running side events, um, and yeah, um, also talking to other organisations and other people in different countries to work out how we can all work together to create change. Yeah, that's true. So just to give you a rundown, we get up at about 6.30, and then we meet at 7 with um, the <laughs> text group, which is a group of UK um, NGOs that come together to discuss the latest draft of the text that's being negotiated. At 8, we meet with the UK CSW Alliance, which is again an alliance of UK NGOs, about 200 and we come together to reflect on the events on the previous day and to kind of design, um, delegate different tasks for the day ahead. And then we attend lots of events between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. And then at 6 we're meeting with the UK government to discuss the latest draft of the text, any emerging issues, ideas, concerns that's taking place for an hour. And then after 7 we're basically um, consolidating our learning in blogs, um, social media, following up from emails from the office and um, look at the latest text so that we're prepared for the 7 a.m. meeting the next morning again. Oh. <coughs> and what is the outcome of the CSW? Well I guess the overall outcome is to eliminate violence against women and put them on an equal stance with men and promote gender equality and quality all around. We have a visioner here. <laughs> um, the outcome of the CSW is a document which is called a Greek conclusion, mm -hmm. which is about 30 pages long and which lines out um, the reflection of governments on which progress has been made and which priority areas need urgent attention. Oh, but okay. hopefully we're also going to um, be able to implement your vision and eliminate violence against women and girls. I hope so. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you.